everybody, Jay here. Uh, so I'm a collector at heart. I've been collecting things my entire life, whether it's comics, video games, toys. If it's something that I can associate happiness with, chances are I'm going to jump on it and collect it. So when Amiibo were announced by Nintendo and I was able to kind of bridge that gap between video games and toys, I was ecstatic. We had these amazingly sculpted versions of characters that I adored, and I couldn't wait to put them on my shelf. Today, we're going to go over some of my favorites, some honorable mentions, and my top 10-ish figures. So let's take a look. All right, so before we get to my top 10 Amiibo figures that I own, I want to go over some honorable mentions, ones that I really like. Up first is the Piranha Plant, which uh, from the, the Super Mario Brothers series, I, I really enjoyed... Uh, kind of getting little plastic representations of the Mario villains. Like, I, I love the Goomba, I love the Boo. Uh, so getting a surprise uh, Smash series Piranha Plant was pretty fun. Um, I guess I kind of should have expected it with every character in Smash getting an amiibo, I believe. But uh, yeah, it still kind of got me out of the blue, and uh, I was lucky enough to pick one up, and uh, I love him. I think he's great. Next up is Mr. Game & Watch. Now, Mr. Game & Watch was dangerously close to breaking into the top 10 here. The reason he didn't is basically because he is just kind of a 3D printed flat image. Uh, granted, it's really cool that you can switch him out on the base and have the different uh, styles of Mr. Game & Watch on there if you really want to, but it's still, it, there's there's cooler sculpts, there's cooler versions of characters out there. Uh, but this is such a great amiibo, being able to choose between the bell, standard Mr. Game & Watch, uh, the one with the hammer and the countdown and the parachute is awesome. I swap him out pretty regularly and, and switch him up on my display stand. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. I think he's a really neat one. He's just not quite top 10. Next up is the Green Inkling Boy from the Splatoon series. So the, the first series of Splatoon Amiibo were really cool uh, and, and I was excited to get them because I do love Splatoon so much. Uh, and I didn't expect to get anything else. Uh, when we got Callie and Mary, I thought that was really neat. Uh, and then, kind of out of the blue, we got the second series of uh, Splatoon main characters in Splatoon 2 launched. And the green amiibo boy inkling is amazing. I really like the use of the glossy paint on his hair, as well as the ink splat that's on the, uh, the base. And he just looks great. Like, one of the, the cool things about Splatoon that I like so much is the attention that's paid to fashion and changing your style and the way you look. And it's just neat to get something that looks so cool. Uh, next up, and not something that is necessarily a great looking amiibo, but this is one that I chased for a long time uh, and wanted very badly because one of my mains in Smash is this character, and that's the Wii Fit Trainer. I did not get the original run here. This is one that I stumbled across in a Best Buy a couple of months ago uh, and picked her up because I just think she's great. And she's such a fun character to play. She's certainly not in any danger of ever winning a tournament or anything like that. Uh, but it's just such a weird character to have in Smash that I couldn't wait to play her. Uh, and she ended up being one of my favorites. Uh, so to, to get an amiibo of her uh, was really neat, and I just kind of like the way she looks. Now, this one might be curious as to why this is on the list, but Meredith, Victor, and I are all very big Animal Crossing fans. Uh, and my favorite character is, uh, aside from Mr. Rossetti, whose amiibo I do not care for, uh, is K.K. Slider. Uh, I really like this one. Uh, this feels like an Animal Crossing character come to life. Uh, I think he looks great. The sculpt is fun. Uh, I like that he has his guitar and he's playing upon a stump. The Animal Crossing amiibo are uh, kind of rightfully crapped on uh, because they're just everywhere. Like we, You can get them for a, a Coke and a song at a Five Below right now. And uh, we ended up buying these when Toys R Us was going out of business for, I think, $1.97 each and got the entire lineup uh, in an afternoon. But KK Slider is one of our favorites, and uh, I just like the way he looks. All right, next up, guys, is the Player One version of Bayonetta. Now, Bayonetta is one of the best characters that's been created in probably the last 15 years in video games. Uh, truly an original, truly a great design. And I really like this Player One version. I have both Player One and the Player Two, uh, but the Player One, I, I like the short hair better. And, and this was just a cool one to get. Uh, the, the reason this one didn't crack the top 10, and it was very close, a lot of the Amiibo have these weird uh, clear plastic braces on the legs to help the figure stand. And hers are just kind of all-encompassing and just look really bad. So she didn't quite break the top 10, but since she is such a great character, I wanted to get her into the honor honorable mentions. Next up is Chibi Robo. Here's a character that I adore, uh, and I'm not entirely sure why because I'm not 
really sure he's ever had a good game, but I just love the way he looks. Uh, and this is also a really weird amiibo to get. You know, he came with Ziplash. You know, it was it was neat to get him because I like that Nintendo was kind of putting some putting some love into the Chibi Robo character. But yeah, that's the last we've kind of seen of him. I'm I'm pretty sure he's an assist trophy or a spirit in Smash Ultimate. But yeah, he he's one of those forgotten Nintendo characters. So. Uh, I was excited to get him, I was excited to be able to find him, and uh, I, I think he looks great. Like, if, if you've ever played Chibi-Robo, you know, hey, that's Chibi-Robo, that's exactly what he looks like. Uh, I just, I wish they would do more with the character. I, I, I would, we're, we're getting a really neat resurgence in 3D platformers right now uh, on the Switch with New Super Lucky's Tale and Ukulele and stuff like that, and I would love to see Nintendo kind of give give some love to, to the Chibi Robo character and put out a new 3D platformer featuring him. I think it would be really good. Uh, I can't promise it would sell well, but I sure would buy a copy. Next is my favorite video game character of all time. Uh, but much like Bayonetta, the reason he's not in there is because of this gigantic kind of opaque stand. Uh, but this is Mega Man. Now this Mega Man figure is from the Mega Man 11 release and features the 30th anniversary branding on the base, which I thought was really cool. Uh, I like that it's a more dynamic pose than the Smash series release of Mega Man. But again, you know, this base just kind of throws off the design a little bit. It's like, oh look, he's he's standing on an ice cube. Great. Eh, it just doesn't work for me. But the the figure itself I think looks great. I think it's a nice dynamic pose of him jumping and holding the Mega, bu Mega Buster aloft. But I just wish that stand wasn't there. Like, I wish there was a way they could make it so... I don't know. It's just one of those things where it just kind of throws off the whole design. Next up is a Smash figure, and this is one of my favorite characters uh, in any video game, that's Pac-Man. I was tickled when Pac-Man got added to Smash Brothers. I use him a lot, I'm very bad at him, but I have a lot of fun with him because I do adore the character so much. And I think this is just a great amiibo. Uh, mine's a little scuffed up, uh, he, he's, he's got some markings on him because he's been dropped and you know used and all kinds of stuff like that, but I do, I do love this figure a lot. This is, this screams Pac-Man. Like this is the iconic design of what the character looks like on the side of the arcade machines, uh, or on box art for Pac-Man. And I just think he's a great character. You, you know what, Namco? We need a new Pac-Man game. Make it happen. Get on it. Final honorable mention is uh, Link from the Link's Awakening release uh, last year. This wasn't a game I care I really cared about all that much. Um, I didn't like the original Game Boy version. I was hoping that I would enjoy the Switch remaster, uh, and I don't. It's it's not a game for me. Uh, I, I don't have a ton of fun with it. it. Doesn't work for me. Now Meredith loves it. Uh, Meredith thinks it's great. She's beaten it. Uh, I've played about four hours into it, and that's about all she wrote for me. And I'm not enjoying it. Uh, meanwhile, I've picked up Minish Cap on the Wii U eShop, and now have put in nine hours onto that. So, yeah, it just this game just doesn't click for me. But this figure is great. You know, one of the things that I love about the, the Link's Awakening remake is the art style and how everything kind of looks like a tilt-shifted toy. And this figure is no different. You know, using kind of the same techniques that they used on the Splatoon uh, Green Inkling Boy, uh, using the glossy paint on the figure to make him look like he is a toy, like he is obviously because, you know, he used his piece of plastic, but that's okay. He looked like he stepped right out of the game, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful figure to have. Uh, we're now we're gonna we're gonna transition into the top ten now. I do have to be honest with you guys here. Uh, straight up, my top ten has eleven figures, but you'll you'll understand why once we get there. So, uh, starting at number ten, Yarn Yoshi. I love the Yarn Yoshi figures. Uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of the Yoshi games, but Crafted World and Woolly World just had such a unique and gorgeous appearance that I couldn't help but be charmed by these. These yarny, these yarny gents. We, we have all of the uh, single release Yoshis as well as Poochie. Uh, we were never able to find the Mega Yarn Yoshi, but that's okay because we certainly don't need one. Uh, but these guys are great. Uh, and they, they actually end up being Christmas ornaments every year for us. Uh, they, they've got a nice little hook on the top where you can, you can attach a Christmas ornament hook and they, they end up on the tree. Next up from the Smash series is Krom. Big Fire Emblem fan. Really like the, the appearance of the characters. You know, it's uh, it's just one of those things that I that I personally enjoy. I don't mind there being a ton of Fire Emblem characters in, in Smash. Uh, and I really like this figure. I think this is probably the most dynamic looking Fire Emblem figure that they've released so far. Uh, at least of the ones I own. There, there's probably some more that, that look a little bit better, but I don't own them, so I can't comment on them. But I think Krom looks great. The billowing cape, the sword, uh, you know, I like the, the tattoo to work on his arm, uh, and the sculpt of the muscles looks really good too, so uh, re really, really nice touch here. 
next is the Super Mario Brothers series uh, Wario figure. Now, this thing is a hunk of plastic. Uh, this is like the old uh, the old LJN wrestling figures. This is a kill your brother toy. Uh, this is one that you can whack someone in the head with and probably cause a concussion. Now, I own both Wario figures. I've got the one from Smash and the one from Super Mario Brothers. And as much as I like the one from Smash, when I think of Wario, I don't think of his appearance from uh, WarioWare. I think of his appearance from the, the Wario World games in the, the yellow and purple. And this one is just so great. Like, he's he's got so much attitude, and he just he looks ridiculous. <laughs> and I love his little fat guy. So, yeah, Wario makes the cut for my top ten. Uh, super happy he's here. Next up is Rob, your favorite robot operating buddy. Now, I gotta be honest, if I had the Famicom colored one, that one would make the cut, but I only have the NES colored one, but that's okay, because he's still awesome. The, he was what such a great character to see added to Smash, uh, and such a weird character to see added to Smash that I was, I was just ecstatic to get him. Uh, I think his figure looks great, it's got a good sculpt, uh, it's a it's a nice dynamic appearance. It looks like he's actually doing something and not just kind of posing for the camera. Yeah, he's a great character and he's a great figure. Next is Shovel Knight, uh, and I got to be honest, this, this you might see some images here as well of Spectre Knight, Plague Knight, and King Knight because uh, I have those as well, but I can't find them for some reason. They, they they got purchased right before Christmas and got shuffled off into a box somewhere, and I'm not sure where they're at. Uh, so spiritually they would be on this list too and there'd actually be 15 characters in my top 10 but whatever the shovel knight himself is awesome if you've never played the shovel knight series of games you can buy them for anything like i think you can get them for samsung refrigerators now uh, that's how ubiquitous he is with gaming uh, but this figure is awesome i love the shovel knight games i have been a supporter of theirs for years now and I was so excited when it was announced that Shovel Knight was going to get an Amiibo because, uh, foolishly, I thought that would mean he would be a playable character in Smash. And I've still got my fingers crossed for DLC Pack 2, uh, but we'll see. This figure is great. It looks like Shovel Knight jumped off the, off of the screen. He, he is holding his, his shovel blade. He's just awesome. And, and the other figures from the Shovel Knight series look great as well. They all kind of have an interesting paint scheme where everything looks a little bit muted, like you would expect them to be a little more vibrant. But when you compare them, to the way they look in the games it's it's like spot on starting the top five now guys next up we have simon belmont uh from the smash brothers series love castlevania have loved castlevania since i was a kid castlevania 2 simon's quest is one of my favorite games of all time uh so getting a simon belmont amiibo was awesome uh, I know a lot of people are really excited about Richter. I haven't been able to pick him up yet. He just uh, launched today, in fact, when this is being recorded. So I haven't gotten him yet. But I do have this Simon figure, and he's amazing. Great detail work on his armor. Lots of uh, really good sculpting on the chains. Loses a few points. He probably would have been higher in the top 10 if he didn't have the gigantic opaque braces on his ankles. But, you know, beggars and choosers. Uh, he's He is an awesome figure and a great amiibo. Number four. Uh, man, I really want to make this one my number one, but I can't do it uh, just because the, the top three is so good. But this is my Smash main. These are the Ice Climbers. Uh, the Ice Climbers have been my Smash characters since Jump, so when they uh, skipped the release uh, and weren't in the previous version of Smash Brothers, I, I, was, I was sad, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, it, it, it was good because it got me to play more characters. But having them back in Ultimate made me so happy. And to get Amiibo of them, and, you know, Nana and Popo just look so good. You know, a lot of people think this, the, the Ice Climbers are cheap, and they are. And when you're bad at Smash like I am, you need every advantage you can get. So the, 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 uh, the Ice Climbers were indeed my advantage. I love these guys. I love this figure. Uh, and just, they look, they look amazing. Now, the top three is hard because the top three could probably shift at any given time. But of the ones I own... As of right now, these are my top three. Number three is the Squishy Metroid Amiibo from the Samus and Metroid 2 pack. Now this is, this one came out when Metroid, uh, Metroid 2 Samus's Return was released for the DS. And as someone who had never played the game, I was excited because, hey, Metroid's a great series and I'm always happy to get more Metroid stuff. But when they, they kind of announced these crazy looking Amiibo, it was really exciting because I wanted to have them on my shelf. Uh, opening these guys was awesome. Samus looks great, but the, the the Metroid is where the money's at. The plastic shell around the actual uh, brain pan of the Metroid is squishy, as you can see here. It depresses when you put when you touch it. It's a little bit I don't want to say gooey because it's not like it's it's slimy or anything like that, but it's got a different 
uh, hand feel than anything else on the Amiibo, so your mind is thinking, oh, it's so gross, it's so gooey, but it's it's not. This guy is awesome. I love this Amiibo, I love the Metroid series, and that's just such a great one. Number two is the Guardian from Breath of the Wild. And I gotta be honest with you, when I first started making this, or when I first had the idea for this video, it was, it was kind of in my head that this was going to be the number one. Uh, and it was close up until I was, I was overlooking all of the Amiibo I have. But this one is so close and so cool uh, to being top of the list. Uh, having posable arms that, are, that have wires in them so you can actually bend them and move them around is so neat. Uh, it just feels like the character in Breath of the Wild. So uh, we, we typically have him holding a D20, uh, which is a little bit weird, but that's okay. He's an awesome figure. Uh, he's, he's kind of difficult to find now. Uh, he was very difficult to find when he first launched, and I happened to get lucky at uh, Walmart at about 3 o'clock in the morning when I couldn't sleep one night. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's great. There is, uh, depending on how you want to count this, uh, there so far is either, and depending on if I get the Shovel Knight Amiibo in there, uh, those are either our top, the top 10 figures uh, so far featuring uh, 13 characters or 9 characters. But here, here's our number one. This one, when you stop and look at the sculpts, and you stop and look at the design work of these characters, and just how amazing the paintwork is, and how great the character design is, and how much attitude they show, and how much they feel like they jumped off of it. The, the screen split into. Uh, I couldn't not choose Pearl and Marina uh, as my number one amiibo figures. Uh, these guys are really hard to find. I got very lucky uh, that I was I happened to be at GameStop when these got announced, so I was able to pre-order them uh, and I was able to pick them up. But these figures just look great. The sculpting is beautiful. Uh, just some amazing, amazing faded paintwork that almost makes it look like ombre hair on their tentacles. The paint, again, kind of like the other Splatoon figure that I showed earlier, as well as the, the Link, uh, has a more glossy finish on it, so their tentacles and their paint splats are a little bit more glossy than the rest of their bodies. Uh, and other than that, you've just got you've got great paintwork and great sculpting on the rest of their characters. These are quality Amiibo. These are fantastic pieces. And yeah, I love them. All right, guys, there you have it. So that is my top 10 Amiibo figures list, uh, as well as some honorable mentions. But that leads me to wonder, what is your number one amiibo that is in your collection, and what's number one on your wish list? What, what's what's the figure you are dying to pick up? I know for a lot of folks, it's the Japanese import uh, Monster Hunter figures. But they just they don't they don't do it for me. Box Boy is definitely my number one. As weird as that may sound, uh, but please do let us know below what you liked. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and tell us what we can do better. Uh, if you watched for this long and you like the nonsense that we bring to you, do consider subscribing because it does help us out. Uh, and until next time, guys. Do more of what you want. Play more games.